week three, day 14. I'm Christina, this is Christ Glorified Fitness. Today we are doing a core workout, no repeats. So grab a mat and it's completely optional to use one weight. We won't use it until towards the end of the workout. So nothing is repeated. Warm up is integrated into the movement. So we have a total of, oh, I'm so sorry. We have a total of, uh, my body <laughs> we have a total of eight, uh, six, 18 moves, but the first two are your warm-up moves. So we're doing everything down on the mat, so feel free to just wear socks or take off your socks, get comfortable. Um, this is core-centered, and when we do core workouts, it's not just about crunch, 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 ab, ab, ab work. So your core um, wants to uh, work also your, like, your pelvis, your lower back, and your hips. Okay, get up, my, my screen is straight. <laughs> and so they all wanna work in harmony, right? And the core is the center of right everything. It keeps you upright, gives you good posture. And so as I thought about our verse today, it really was fitting to ha have Philippians 4.13 be our banner verse. It's a familiar verse. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we hear that a lot and a lot and a lot, but it really just kind of hit my spirit this morning because I thought, you know, everything we do, all the strength that we have truly comes from Him. And we live in a world where everything's about me, myself, look what I've achieved, look what I can do. But truly, as Christians, as followers of Christ, right, our dependency is on the Lord. Like, we put our full believe that he is our strength, right? And we can't do anything without him. Without him, we are weak. And he allows us to struggle in certain areas so that way we can depend on him. So when you think about, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, it's Christ who's the center of everything that you truly can get done and do in your life. So keep that in mind as we're doing core and it's the center. It's the, it's the center of everything that keeps uh, your balance well, stability well. Christ is the center and it keeps the balance in your life. So keep that in mind as She is Strong is coming to an end. I had a lot of fun putting these videos together for you guys, but I'm going to get the music started. We're going to get going. I know you're eager to get going. Um, we're going all the way your first 12 moves. We're doing nonstop. We'll take a short break and then we'll get right back to it. Today we're doing a 40 second work, 10 second transition. So it's really quick. It's a little shorter on the work because it's a lot of core focused movements. Okay, I'll show you modifications. Music's gonna be lightly in the background. I'm uh, choosing, selecting some music that my personal brother in Christ has put together. So he's an artist, so we're gonna play his music and uh, hope you, you get blessed by it, okay? Don't forget to say hi, Tina, and anyone else who's gonna be watching. I don't know why my volume is still on there. Okay, so we're gonna put here, I'm so glad my screen is, is uh, straight. You have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> it's weird, like no matter how straight I get it, sometimes it just acts up. All right, let's lay on the ground. Okay, hold on you guys, I apologize. I need to make sure my uh, computer is low enough. There you go. So I'm going to show you first move. I'm going to go back and get the timer and tell you about those clickers. So your first move is I can't even see. Oh, bridges. So works to get your hips, your pelvis. So we're going to come down here, and your first move is going to be a bridge. Okay, and I'm going to start that timer. It's going to restart it. So lay on your back. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. Good way to stretch everything too. Drive the hips up, push your shoulders into the mat.
You've got three, two, one. Okay, from here, bring your knees right over your hips, arms come up. So the next move is starting three seconds, one leg down at a time. Here we go. You take your two warm up moves, and then we're getting right to the work. Take your fingertips all the way behind your head to stretch out your legs. Zah.
Plank. Three, two, one. Okay, either come to the side now. You can sit down here. Hip or leg lift. Hips come up. Option, stay bend the knee to reduce the amount of weight going up. So there you go. Now make sure that your wrist is under your shoulders, that your hips are stacked. Knees are right under each other. Oh, please. Good job. Keep going. Lift, lift. Come on, I got just a few more seconds. I know. Whew. Seven in and rest. Okay, swing it over to the other side. Same thing. You notice I'm bending my knees. And that's okay. I'm still feeling the hard work. Here we go. Okay, pull your shoulders back, keep that chest open, try not to cave in this way. And your whole body's nice and long, with nice long lines. Now if you've got weights around, we're going to be utilizing them. You want to, in 10 seconds, we're going to quickly Bring them at the front of our mat. We're gonna do a plank where we push and pull back the weights. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, fly. Okay, right here. Push, push, pull. What if I don't have weight? I can on the knees. Or we can just go like this. Yeah, see? Again, you can come up. Just something to do while you're killing some time. Good. Hips and shoulders square to the front of the mat. You're doing great. Maybe next time we'll do a 15 second transition so we have more time, but it's working. Three, two, one. Okay, from here. Come on off horse. Balance the table. So, hand comes out, leg comes out. You can tap this way, or you can take the hands and legs off the floor. Here we go. Slow. Think about elbow meets the knee, and then come up. Great for your back, your hips, your core, your balance, stability. Take your time. It's okay if you fall over a little bit. And then you can modify right here. You can tap. And just focus on the arm going up, or bring the hand down and focus on the leg going back. Start where you need to start. And then we work on progression, work on getting stronger. You got three more seconds. And rest. Okay. We're gonna go to the other side now. After this, we'll get our break. I'm only going to be able to do my hand. Again, work with restrictions. Opposite hand, opposite leg. But notice how I took one leg out. Lord, I was looking back at my life today. Nice, 20 more seconds. Keep your core engaged, by, but make sure you're breathing. Sometimes when we're working hard, we start to hold our breath. We don't want to do that. We want to do the opposite. Big inhales, big exhales. Come on, brain needs some oxygen. You wanna hold that breath. Three, two, break. Whew, okay, 12 in. Now, we got 40 seconds, a 40 second break right now. I'm gonna start to preview some moves as we are using weights. <clears throat> so, our next move as you're just getting water out of our chart, it's a push and a pull in, okay? So weight is just totally optional here. Good, next one is we're gonna hold. So you can hold here, you can hold here, you can hold cross, whatever you do, just hold. Then we're gonna lay back, okay? Then we're gonna push up here, and then we've got flutter kicks, 
And then we're gonna flip over and do some planks. Start in 10 seconds. Here we go. Keep 
toes come up. Come on, lift the chin off. And then come back down. Take your time. My back hurts. This is a great exercise for your back. Come on. Fifteen.